Hey techies, welcome back to the SAP Fury Capum tutorial series. In the last few parts, we have built a complete CRUD application using SAP Capum and Fury UI5. In part 9, we are thinking a crucial step forward that is learning how to initialize Git, connect it to GitHub and publish our Capum project directly from the SAP Business Application Studio. Let's begin. First, go to github.com and log in to your GitHub account. Then, create a new repository. Give it a name, for example, SAP Fury Cap. Leave it public or private based on your preference. Also, don't initialize with readme or .git ignore. We will handle this everything on BAS. After configuring, click on create repository to initialize your repository. Then, Inside your Capum project root in SAP BAS, open the terminal and run git init. This initializes git in your current project directory. Now stage all your project files using git add dot. Then commit them with an initial commit message. Type git commit hyphen m initial commit. Now use the command git remote add origin to link your local repository to the github repository. Copy the HTTPS clone URL from your GitHub repository and paste it in your terminal. Now that everything is ready, Push your code to GitHub using git push-u origin main. Copy this and paste it here in the terminal. And hit enter. If this is your first push, git may ask you to authenticate via token or GitHub credentials. Use your personal access token if prompted. Click authenticate to authenticate our application. Now you can close this window and go back to terminal and select save it for future use. Once complete, you can go to GitHub and see your full SAP Capum project hosted there. We can see our code is pushed to this new repository. Now go to your terminal. I will show you how to push from next time. I'm adding a space and pushing the code again. You can use the command git status to check the status of our repository. Here it is showing the controller need to be pushed. A change is happened in the controller. So let's push this using git add dot git commit hyphen m then the commit message. And from this time you just need to use the command git push to push it to your repository.
If you don't want to use the command, then you can use the git option available in the left side menu option. Make some changes in the file, then type some commit message here and click on commit and sync. This will perform a push and pull operation. And that wraps up part 9. If you found this helpful, give the video a like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or want more integrations in SAP BAS. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.